In this video, you'll learn everything about the capillary tube obstruction that can occur in refrigeration or air conditioning systems in just 3 minutes. On the screen, we have a refrigeration circuit that we'll use to explain what happens in a cycle when the capillary tube is obstructed. Let's analyze it step by step. 1. Initially, the system operates normally. In the evaporator, the pressure is 15 pounds per square inch, while in the condenser, it is 150 pounds per square inch. 2. When a partial obstruction occurs in the capillary tube, the pressure in the evaporator starts to decrease significantly. The pressure, initially 15 pounds per square inch, progressively decreases to 14, 13, and so on. This happens because there is less refrigerant available in the evaporator due to the obstruction. 3. Despite the obstruction, the compressor continues to suction and discharge refrigerant into the condenser. The condenser, initially at 150 pounds per square inch, starts receiving refrigerant at high pressure. However, due to the obstruction, the refrigerant begins to concentrate in this area, causing an increase in high pressure. 4. The high pressure increases to 160 pounds per square inch, for illustrative purposes, but as the compressor continues working, it suctions less refrigerant, leading to a decrease in low pressure. 5. Over time, the high pressure, which peaked at 160 pounds per square inch, begins to decrease, and can return to 150 pounds per square inch because the refrigerant condenses in the condenser, turning into a liquid, thus reducing the high pressure. Meanwhile, the low pressure continues to decrease. 6. As the system operates, the pressure at the low pressure point may decrease significantly, possibly reaching 5 pounds per square inch, while the high pressure starts to resemble the initial value. 7. After a few minutes, the high pressure could start decreasing as less refrigerant reaches this point. The system may stabilize with lower pressures. 8. Depending on the location of the obstruction, there may be signs of freezing at the capillary tube outlet. Also, the condenser loses temperature and gradually approaches ambient temperature. 9. The compressor's amperage consumption decreases. If the obstruction occurred in the capillary, signs of freezing could appear at the capillary tube outlet. 10. The condenser loses temperature and begins to approach ambient temperature. 11. This behavior indicates how a system responds to an obstruction, with a decrease in low pressure, a peak in high pressure, and eventual stabilization with lower pressures. Signs of freezing and changes in condenser temperature, along with a decrease in compressor amperage consumption, are observed. 